For NJ Advance Media, I am Connor Hughes. Geno Smith's run with the New York Jets is officially over. On Friday, he agreed to terms on a contract, thus ending his four-year run with Gang Green. How will Geno be remembered during his time spent at One Jets Drive? Probably as a giant question mark, a question of what could have been. When Gino was first drafted by the Jets, he arrived in Florham Park as a project player. You know, he was coming from a spread offense in West Virginia and a guy who many believe needed a chance to learn the NFL game before just starting right away. He also had some maturity issues. You know, teams figured that he would be better if he had an opportunity to learn behind a veteran and mature and grow and then take over in year three, maybe year four. With the Jets, though, Gino was never given that opportunity. You know, an, an injury to Mark Sanchez his rookie year forced Gino into the starting lineup. He started every game, wasn't very good, then came in his second year again, not very good, started a ton of games, was bad, got punched in the face his third year, and it really just became a colossal failure after that. Unfortunately for the Jets, and also unfortunately for Gino, no one's ever going to know what he could have been if he was given an opportunity to sit and learn the NFL game instead of starting right away. No one's going to know what, it, what he could be if he was given a true veteran to learn from instead of guys like Mark Sanchez and, and Matt Sims and Michael Vick. Gino wasn't really given an opportunity to have realistic, legitimate success considering the quarterback he was coming out of West Virginia. The Jets threw him to the Wolves, tried to baptize him by fire and hope for the best. It didn't work, and unfortunately things spiraled out of control after that. Can Gino still be a successful quarterback in the NFL? Sure, I'm, I'm sure of it. You know, he's got all the talent in the world. He never didn't. He's got a cannon for an arm, pinpoint accuracy when he wants to, and some deceptive mobility. Unfortunately, though, the Jet, if Gino is going to have that success and become the player he, he thinks he can be, and, and the Jets certainly thought he could be when they took him in the second round, it's not going to be with the New York Jets. Who knows if it could have been if he had been given an opportunity to sit if he hadn't given somebody to learn from, if the Jets had put him in a situation to have success, not necessarily put him in a situation to fail. For NJ Advanced Media, I'm Connor Hughes.